Guys, I think it's finally time to spruce up Pelican Town in Stardew Valley. I am going to go around every part of the town and decorate each area myself, giving it a unique, fresh feel to blend in with my farm. I'm starting to get bored of the way Pelican Town is looking. It is bland, it is boring, it needs some colour, it needs some decoration. I think the NPCs are going to appreciate it, but most of all, I think this is going to make my end game save file look truly incredible. There's going to be a lot of time lapsing you're gonna see me decorate this from start to finish and let's see how good we can get it looking but first we have a little segment for our amazing sponsor for today's video stop whatever you're doing and check your phone right now is it glowing and vibrating with awesomeness no <laughs> well you need to fix this by installing raid shadow legends and join the 80 plus million people who play this awesome addicting game raid shadow legends is a free to play mobile fantasy rpg and here are three reasons why raid is better than any other mobile game number one it has stunning hd graphics which are console and pc quality looking incredible right in front of your hands and it runs smoothly on mobile not only does the game look awesome but number two there are over 650 completely unique champions to collect from in different factions who look just as awesome and it doesn't end there because number three this game has endless content with new champions and new updates every single month this is sure to keep you playing having tons of fun with non-stop action. And some exciting news, Raid now is running a special Valentine's Day themed adventure event. All you need to do to get involved is download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to raidlovequest.plerium.com. You can play one of the Valentine's themed mini games for a chance to win some fantastic in-game and real life prizes, including Valentine's Day themed Raid Champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. If you are an old raid player don't worry because you can still share this love too everyone can use this special promo code on screen for a small valentine's gift from us to you and if you haven't started playing raid yet click my link in the description or scan the qr code here on screen you'll get unique bonuses worth 35 dollars including a free epic champion called jotun and other useful stuff and once you're in the game come and find me under the name and if you're fast enough you can join my clan Let's get back to the video. Alright guys, so this is how the video is going to go down. We are going to start in the bus stop area, I'm going to redesign this, and then we're going to move on to another area, starting above the farm, in the back lanes leading up to the mines and the mountains. And then eventually we'll go all the way around, until we get to the forest in the south near Marnie's Ranch in the secret woods. Uh, I want to cover everything in Pelican Town. I will be using the item spawner, just because it's going to take me so long if I was to craft all of the, the fences and floors myself, you know. I kind of want a free catalogue to get and use whatever I want. I've completed the game. I'm at a point where I'm kind of done on my end game farm. The last thing I want to do, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while, is actually spruce up and decorate the whole Stardew Valley map. I've actually seen a few people do this on live streams and I've seen a few Twitter posts where people actually do this and it really sparked an idea where I wanted to do it for myself. It looks amazing. Now, one thing I do need to mention is this is going to be a two-part video because, oh my God, when I was doing this, I had no idea it was going to take me as long as it did. I spent hours and hours and hours just doing this video. It was crazy. I thought, oh, I'll just get in there, do a little bit of decorating, move on to the next area, and then, yeah, I'll have it done in a couple of hours. Who was I kidding? <laughs> this took so long. I've had to split this up into two parts. So in this video, the areas that you are going to see, which will be time-lapsed, almost like a speed build, otherwise it's just going to take so long. We are going to do the bus stop area, like mentioned, and the back lanes leading up to the mines, and then we're going to do the whole mine area where where Linus lives, uh, leading up to the Adventurers Guild and the quarry, we'll do that as well. We're also going to do the train station area, and then we're also going to do the lane leading up to the summit and the beautiful view. And that is all just in this part. That took me so long to do, just those areas. The second part of this video will be uploaded very soon, and this is where we tackle the main town, the centre, the bit that's going to take the longest. And then we're going to do the beach and the forest area. So yeah, the first part here, the bus stop area, you see seen a speed build now as we're doing it after each area is finished and you've watched the speed build i'm gonna jump into it in real time so yeah enjoy the speed builds enjoy the music and i'll see you again in the real time when we take a look around in more detail this was super fun and i'm so happy with the end result so wait till the end to see the whole thing it looks truly incredible
Okay guys, so here we are in the real time to take a closer look at what I have been doing. Now you'll notice straight away we're in a different season. As much as I love autumn and the colours, it looks beautiful, I wanted to show this off in a normal springtime colour, you know, with the greens and stuff like that. So as soon as we leave the farm into the bus stop area now, it looks incredible. We've got street lights, a nice wooden path with the grass popping through, some decoration on the bottom. You'll notice a lot in my uh, little builds in each area, I use a lot of grass. Grass in Stardew Valley is amazing. It really makes the game look natural and beautiful. I love the winter grass. I don't know why it's not a part of Stardew Valley because, you know, grass can still grow in winter. It doesn't entirely die, especially different types of grass. So I've brought a mod in where the winter season will still show the grass, which also makes the grass look a little bit different as well. That's the only thing that looks visually different. It's literally the only mod that I use. So yeah, here we go. The path goes all the way to the bottom, not much to see, but let's go up towards the bus stop and have a little look. And here we go. Just look how beautiful this looks. It's so much different. I recommend anyone to do this. Just go around and decorate the whole area. It's amazing in Stardew Valley because you can place, you know, chairs, benches, tables, fences, paths, items everywhere. It don't just have to be on your farm. And you can even do this inside buildings as well, which I have done a few buildings, which you'll see later on. But this looks incredible. Now look. Pam is on her way. I have made sure that she doesn't destroy anything because that is one problem that you can have with doing this is you've got to be careful of the NPC paths because they have a certain path that they stick to every day. Each day is different. And if anything is in front of them that's blocking their way, they won't just pause and walk around it. <laughs> they will literally walk straight through it and destroy the item. Now this gets quite frustrating in different areas, especially where they're busy like the main town. I had such a problem in the main town, it took me so long just to figure out the paths and try and decorate things around the NPCs, it was really difficult. Now this area is not too bad because we only have Pam really who comes here and her kind of path is straightforward, you know, you just saw her then. So she does not destroy anything, it looks incredible. We've got benches around, we've got a little trash can. We've got lots of flowers, we've got a nice little picnic bench here, a picnic area. I don't know why I put a Junimo on there, but it looks kind of cute. We've got some tree tappers around, which is good as well. It just looks super, super cozy, and I love this area a lot. You can cross this little uh, pedestrian crossing here. We've got some braziers, and up at the minecarts here, looks awesome, natural. We've got another little bench as well, if you want to come and take a seat up here. And then I did a nice little uh, gravestone area. I'm not sure who or what passed away here, but I think it looks quite cool. Just tucked away in the corner there, it's quite unique. And then we've got little cut throughs here as well. There we go guys, that's the bus stop area. Looking snazzy, I really, really love it. Let me know what you think. This is one of the smaller areas, and now we're gonna move on to the back lanes above the farm. Another pretty small area, very quick to do. But yeah, enjoy the speed build again, and I'll join you again in the real time where we discuss that area and take a good look around. Pam? How do you like it? It's not as plain and boring as it used to be. I bet you love it because you stand there all day, so you know, it gives you something different to look at. <laughs> Just don't rub my syrup, all right? I don't trust you. God damn. Let's do 
So we're kind of recording all these areas at once and I'll kind of insert them to where they need to be. So the next area is the back lanes. I love this area. I've tried to keep this very natural, guys. I want it to look like a, a back lane or a path leading up to the, the mountain area, kind of very natural. There's going to be lots of trees and grass. Didn't really want to do much with this. Just wanted to keep it looking realistic. So yeah, we've got stone paths, grass, some hardwood trees, which was here originally. I actually planted a lot of hardwood trees here just in my normal save file. Good source of wood or hardwood, should I say. But look, as you walk through here, it looks so cool. You do walk slower through the grass, which can be quite annoying, but I love the grass popping through the stone paths. I think it's like Mother Nature's taking over. And as we get up to here, we've got a little sidewalk here with another bench, lots of uh, flowers and stuff, another seating area. You know, you can actually sit down in Saudi Valley, which is so good. I can imagine this being amazing in multiplayer. Just come in and chilling, relaxing with your friends and stuff. But yeah, we come further down here. Not much to show in this area, it's very small. I've made a little honey area, some bee houses, Getting us some honey as we pass through, quite natural. I think it was a great use of the space. Not much more I could have put here. I didn't really have a clue what to do. But yeah, I've got a little tree stump chair as well. And that's kind of it really. I just wanted to keep it very, very natural. Lots of grass, the grass really pops off. And then if we go further down, which is the area coming from the bus stop, I kind of just did a little bit here as well. More grass, bit of decoration, and then this stepping stone path here, which leads straight to the bus stop area because I have completed the game so we do get these walkthroughs and these uh, shortcuts and here we go Pam's leaving we are right here lovely so there we go that is this area very very small quite easy and manageable to do I quite enjoyed it though very natural and uh, yeah I love it the next area is the big one where the mines is this took quite a long time but I'm super happy with it so enjoy the speed build and the music again and I'll see you again in the real time Say you love me Say you don't Just give me something So I can move on Pull me closer Or push me away Let me know if We'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment of you playing with my mind I'm so tired of never knowing, so spell it out Cause I won't stay awake till morning, I won't stay
coke and rum, you stay up, open up, come on, don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up, I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay up, open up, come on, don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up, tonight I'm in it for the big fun, this time I'm bringing out the big guns, bang, bang, they wonder can I get What I got's for everyone, yeah Sit down and get to know the sofa Stand up when it's taking over Come here if you was getting sober What I got's for everyone, yeah In the bathroom, in the kitchen, on the balcony Is where you'll find me A galaxy away from my hometown I'm way up on the coke and
All right, so here we are. I hope you guys are enjoying the speed build and the music. I kind of chose a big variety of different kind of genre of music, so hopefully there's something, at least for each of you. But yeah, I quite like the music. So we are now in this area. Oh, this took a while, but I love it. Let's do a loop around. So again, try to keep it natural because we are in like the mountain area. Lots of grass, lots of trees. We've got some torches, another little bench sitting area here. I have tested this out with Linus and some of the NPCs. None of this stuff is getting destroyed anymore. It did for a while. I had to kind of work around Linus, but he has a straightforward path and uh, it's not too difficult. But first of all, our friend Leo, he's moved from Ginger Island. He's got a nice little treehouse. I've done some decoration around. He's got a nice tropical table. We've got a little banjo here that he can play a bonfire. He can sit around this area. He's got a little parrot friend. The little stone parrot trying to keep it homey for him because obviously you know he's moved from his ginger island so I want to make him feel at home but i really love this area this looks so good and then we go to lance's tent i think this looks awesome i've gave him a nice little area now this little campfire he's got a tree with a tapper on it so we can get some syrup lots of grass he's got a little table up here as well that he can sit on with some food he's got his own trash can which, you know, Linus likes to dive in them, but now he's got his own, which is pretty cool. Not much more to do in this area. Some flowers and things, and a little lamppost so we can see at night. Which, at night time, by the way, this looks awesome with the street lights. I must show you at night time, it's so good. But yeah, keep this stone path that I've chosen. I quite like it, it's natural. But also indicates that you can pass through here. Another little bench here that you can sit on. Get quite a good view because we are quite high up. The fences, I love the hardwood fences coming through here. Now we'll go down first towards Robin and then we'll go up to the mines. There is a little cut through here where Sebastian comes. We've got to be very careful because he was destroying a lot of trees. He kind of comes where the stone path is here and hangs out around the water and he has a little cigarette. So he doesn't destroy anything right now. The path is suitable for him. And of course, we've now got a cut through here as well, a shortcut area, which goes to the next part, but you can't see that just yet. Ah, I think something's been destroyed here. So right where I'm walking, I had some bee houses and already as you can see they have been destroyed. That's not good. It's so hard to walk around the paths, but let's go left. You can see Demetrius and Robin here. Look, they are not destroying my bench. I can sit with them. Yes, we can all stand together. Look at that. They're having a good view down at the, uh, the town there. It looks so good and their path kind of comes through here but this bit looks awesome i love this look at this big bear sculpture outside robins she kind of made that herself you know she's good at this stuff she's good with an axe we've got a workbench here kind of convenient for their house i love the wooden path around here as well a wooden path sneaking up we've got some charcoal kilns where robin does a lot of smelting of the wood to make coal a little wood area where she can gather her wood tree farm here for her it just looks so good using this wooden path just really kicks it off for me now before we go up to the mines let's go to these little mini islands here i use these for crab pots do a little bit of fishing there's even a camera here look looks like people have can come up here and take photos or someone has been maybe demetrius for his studies quite natural more over this side i've got a little sign here to let you know what legendary fish is available in this area especially for me because i always get confused with the legend and a few others so i've kind of marked the area where you can catch them so you stand here on this little dirt patch try and catch the legend looks really good let's go up to the mines and the adventurer guild now and then we've got to do the quarry as well another fishing spot here this is one of my favorite fishing spots up in this area so i've kind of marked it just because i use this personally a lot myself i've now got some bait bins as well which is going to help me out when i'm fishing these can just keep supplying me with lots of bait i've got a chest to keep them all in as well we go up the path we've got another little bench here for people to have a break and then the wooden path stops and it gets a bit more natural because now we go to the mines area which looks pretty cool. I've got some nice little armor stands decorated outside of it. I still do need to decorate the inside of the mines. Probably gonna be in the next part of the video. Then we can cut through, kept the theme with a wooden path, looks so good. I love the Adventurer's Guild here. I wanted to keep the trees popping off as well because you know we are up in the mountains, it makes sense. And yeah, look how nice this looks. So good. And we've also got another bench here as well. There we go down, we've got some little bone mills because this is the quarry and there's also a little quarry mine here as well where you can, you know, fight these skeleton skull things and all the bones that we can get from killing enemies makes sense to put these here which you can use the bones for fertilizer good little place to have them outside the adventurers guild and the quarry 
a little sign to let us know that this is the quarry. And I love this part of the map, it's one of my favourites. A nice little camp area, four log seas, a little campfire, a keg to make some beer and relax. Oh, look how nice this looks, right on the edge of the cliff as well. I just think it looks so good. And then we've got a path going down with some more crab pots here in the lake. This goes down to the main town, which is going to be the next part. The quarry, guys, I kind of kept the same. I didn't want to do much with the quarry because I used this area for smelting. Now, I could have knocked all these down and just did something completely different here, but I am still kind of playing the game on this farm, trying to make as much money as possible, and I am using these furnaces quite a lot for that, so I didn't want to interrupt it. I have made a nice little quarry area, so the rocks will still spawn, so that I can come and gather all of my minerals and ores and things like that. So rather than using the old area, I've kept some aside to keep it as an actual quarry. So I didn't really touch it too much, but I might do in the future because it's got a big space here that we could use for lots of ideas. So that is this area, guys. I almost forgot about the train station area. That is going to be the next part and the final part in this video. And then the next one, we've got a big town to do, which whew, it looks amazing. Super happy with it, but it takes a long time. But look at Linus chilling up here. It's so good. Okay guys, enjoy the next time lapse where we go this area, yeah, and see what I did.
and here we are. I like to call this area the Maple Station. That's what the train station's called, all right? This is an area, if you've seen some of my recent videos on this farm, I uh, used this area to create a lot of maple syrup. It was a little project that I wanted to do. Now, I have took a lot of them down, but I still decided to keep some. So on the right, we've got lots of maple trees, a good space for it. We've got a nice opening here with a bench. Looks like some maple production where we can create all the syrup. We've got some preserve jars, a deconstructor here, why not? But yeah, just a nice little production area, more maple trees. I wanted to keep it as it was just because it is an area that I use a lot, so didn't really want to do anything else with that just yet. But then we go up, we can cross this little path here. We've got the spooky witch's place, more maple trees going at the back. And if we go over and cross this little path of the train station, I love the grass coming through, by the way, like it's spread through the rails, so good. Nice little sitting area, put a few decorations around. I love this part here. Ready to hike up to the summit. You can get a drink, there's a place to sit. Super cool, we'll go up to the summit soon. But I've got more maple trees up here as well. Lots of grass keeping it natural. I've got lots of bee houses around for some honey. I've decorated the, the bathhouse a little bit and kept to the wooden path. Quite simple, not really too much of a design around here, but it definitely looks better than it did. A lot of horrible stuff was spawning up here, like rocks and weeds and things. That should stop now, now that we've got all the path and the floor down. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. It's not the best, but it'll do for now. So then let's go for the hike. Let's head up to the summit. I've kept this very natural and nice little windy path. You can have a little seating area here. You can have a little rest before you go, but yeah, just a stone path, some grass. I've decided to keep the trees around here, a little street post. Look, you can take a little break off way. There's a trash can for your rubbish to put your soda can in. It's very tight squeeze. There's not a lot you could do around here. So here we go with the beautiful summit. We've reached the peak. Beautiful walk up and a beautiful view that rewards you at the end. I wanted to kind of make this feel like a popular viewing point where a lot of people can come up here even like tourists and people can come over to pelican town just for the view you know this is quite a hot an historic place a nice little picnic seating area where you can come and have your food you know for a good view we got some flowers around a campfire to cook your food and stay warm i put some solar panels here i just feel like you know getting some batteries up here would be really good Lots of sunlight, daylight, I don't know if that works. You probably don't get any batteries from this, but it's worth a test. Oh look, we've got a flying rocket. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Whee! And you get to the top, we've got a bench. There's a camera where you can take some stunning photos of the view. Big ocean there as well. Some flowers, grass, yeah, it looks so cool. What a great place to come and relax. Love it. Not a lot of area to work with, kind of small. So I kept it quite simple, but it looks better than it did. You know, a little bit of greenery, a little bit of decoration here and there. I think it looks good. Let me know what else you would have done with this area. But this is all I could think of on the top of my head. But yeah, that is it, I think, for this video. That is part one. We've got some of the big areas to tackle next, like the big main town and, of course, the big forest area. But that's going to be in one video because it's going to take a while and I can't add that to this one. I just feel like it takes way too long. But this is it so far. It's coming along well. Stay tuned for part two. Let me know what you think to my design. Which area do you like the best? And if you want to follow me on Twitter, be sure to show me your designs if you've done this yourself or if you're going to start doing it. But so far, I'm happy with it. You know, the theme that I am going with is natural. I really want to keep it natural like it's a valley i want to keep it country i want to keep it calming and relaxing that's why there's a lot of grass and trees and stuff like that for me but it really fits the theme especially with my farm so i'm super happy with it just let me know your thoughts and i can't wait to show off the other areas for you but just yeah smash that like button subscribe if you haven't and look out for part two this is a cool little project but that is all we've got time for for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've still made it here till the end, I appreciate all the love and support. You guys are the best. Make sure you all stay safe, take it easy, and of course, stay cozy, guys.